There was a place called Egypt, and thousands of years ago, the country was ruled by a king. The king was an Egyptian. There was two different kinds of people living in Egypt, the Egyptians and the Israelites. The king saw that the Israelites were getting more powerful than the Egyptians, so he put all of the Israelites to work as slaves. I order all of the Israelites to build me a castle and throw all their baby boys in the river so that none of them can take my place as king. Now there was a woman who had a baby boy. She did not want to throw him away, so she hid him. After three months, she could not hide him anymore, so she put him in a basket and set him down the river. Now the king's daughter was bathing in the river when she saw a basket in the reeds. She got the basket, and when she saw the baby boy in the basket, she felt sorry for him, and she kept him as a son. She named him Moses. One day when Moses was grown up, he went to go see his own people. While watching them work as slaves, he saw one of them getting whipped by an Egyptian. Moses looked around to see if anyone was watching. Then he killed the Egyptian and hid the body. The next day, Moses came back to see two of his own men fighting each other. Why are you fighting your own people? Who made you have power over us? Are you going to kill us like you killed the Egyptian? Moses was afraid that they knew he had killed the man and that the king will find about it too. So he fled the city before anyone could kill him. After a few years, the king died. One day, Moses was looking after his father-in-law's flock of sheep. Moses saw a bush on fire, and the bush called to him, Moses, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Moses looked away, for he was afraid to look at God. Then God said, Go to the king of Egypt and say, Let my people go. But what if they don't believe me? Throw your staff. So Moses threw his staff, and it turned into a snake. Pick the snake up. Moses picked it up, and it turned back into a staff. Show them what you can do, and they will believe you. So Moses went to Egypt to try to free his people from slavery. This is what the Yahweh, the God of Israel, says. Let my people go. Who is this Yahweh that I should obey? I am the king of Egypt and I will not let the people go. With that response, Moses threw down his staff, and it turned into a snake. But the king's magicians did the same. Moses' snake swallowed up their snakes. The king still didn't want to let the people go. God then told Moses to go to the river's edge and strike the river. Moses struck the river, and it turned into blood. Now all the Egyptians had nothing to drink, but the king still said, I will not let the people go. Then God sent frogs. So many frogs, they covered all the land of Egypt. They were in the king's palace. They were in all the homes of the people. But the king still did not want to let the people go. God sent mosquitoes all over the land. He sent beetles. But the king still was stubborn and would not let the people go. God sent a plague that killed all of the livestock. The king still said no. Then God told Moses to throw ashes into the air. Moses did, and it gave all the people festering boils. Moses then raised his staff into the air so that hail came from the sky and killed everything that grew in the fields. But when the hail stopped, the king became stubborn and would not let the people go. God sent locusts that killed every living plant that was left. Moses then lifted his hand into the sky, and everything was complete darkness. God then sent to Moses, he will send one more plague. After that, the king will let the people go. Tell all the people to kill their best male sheep or goat and put its blood on their door. God will send an angel to kill all the firstborn boys who did not put blood on their doors. The king did not put blood on his door, so his firstborn son was killed. The king summoned Moses. Get out of my palace, leave this place, and take your Israelites. So Moses left with over 60,000 Israelites. The Israelites came upon a river that was too big to cross. Back at the palace, the king had changed his mind, and he wanted the Israelites back. 
so he sent an army to capture them. The Israelites saw the Egyptians coming. They cried out to God. Moses lifted his hand over the river, and God made the river part into two. When all the Israelites crossed the river, Moses again put his hand over the river, and it went back to its normal position. While it was doing that, the Egyptian army was crossing, and they all drowned. If you want to know something cool, this was a true story. These events happened over 3,000 years ago. If you want to read more about Moses' story, you can find it in the book of Exodus in the Bible. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to share the video, and if you want to see more videos like this, check out my channel using the link on the screen. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Later.